All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to spend just a little bit of time today talking about, I guess, the FDA and these new low nicotine cigarettes. On Tuesday, December 17th, The Hill reported this with the headline, Health Officials Authorize Low Nicotine Cigarettes for Public Sale. Health officials being the FDA, and authorize meaning that these two low nicotine combustible cigarette brands passed a PMTA. Although they do make it a point in this article to say, the agency said that just because the company is getting marketing approval does not mean the new cigarettes are FDA approved. So combustible tobacco cigarettes don't need to be FDA approved to be sold on the market, but less harmful nicotine vapor products do need to be FDA approved to be sold on the market. And you know, back in 2017, when Scott Gottlieb first became the FDA commissioner, one of the first things that he announced, one of the first things that the FDA was going to explore was lowering nicotine levels in cigarettes, paying no attention to the underage jewel users at the time. Lower nicotine cigarettes was their top priority. And their whole reasoning for wanting to lower the nicotine levels in cigarettes? FDA officials said the new products have the potential to reduce nicotine dependence in addicted adult smokers. The agency said it determined that non-smokers, including youth, are also unlikely to start using new cigarettes because of the low nicotine levels. So a few things to unpack there. I posed this question on Twitter and and I said, if you are an addicted cigarette smoker and you're used to each cigarette you have having X amount of nicotine in it, and then suddenly the new cigarettes you buy have a fraction of the amount of nicotine in them that you're used to, do you A, keep smoking the normal amount that you would, B, become less addicted to cigarettes and want to give them up, or C, smoke more until you get the nicotine that you're used to getting and satisfying that craving? I'm just guessing that it would be C for me personally. If a cigarette smoker is used to going out on a break at work and having two cigarettes to satisfy that nicotine craving until their next break or lunch, except now they go out on a break and those two cigarettes only have a fraction of the nicotine they're used to so their craving isn't quite satisfied, they are just going to smoke more cigarettes. This lower nicotine cigarettes is a thing that has confused me from the beginning. The logic behind it seemingly makes no sense. I mean, you couldn't apply this logic to any other vice. You couldn't make a sweeping rule that says, all right, well now all alcohol has to be just 2% alcohol. 2% alcohol by volume, that's it. And this is going to keep people from getting drunk. Are people just gonna drink their three beers and go, well, that didn't get me drunk, I guess nothing will. Or will they just drink it in mass quantities in order to satisfy their desire to be drunk? I mean, low fat things, low fat foods, sure, I'll give you that. Low sugar things, absolutely, that's harm reduction. Nicotine is not the harmful component in cigarettes. Nicotine is probably the the least harmful component in cigarettes. And when I say a fraction of the nicotine, it really is a fraction of the nicotine. Traditional cigarettes usually have between 10 to 14 milligrams of nicotine per cigarette. The new products have nicotine content between 0.2 to 0.7 milligrams per cigarette. That is a fraction of a fraction of the nicotine. Mitch Zeller says, the new cigarettes are the first to successfully demonstrate the potential to help reduce nicotine dependence among addicted smokers. If only there was already a less harmful way to accomplish that. Hmm. And then the article finally ends by saying, cigarette smoking among adults has hit an all time low as just under 14% of adults smoke cigarettes in 2018, according to a recent federal study. But cigarette smoking is the leading cause of preventable death from the US, causing more than 480,000 deaths per year. With no mention of what may have dropped those smoking rates to the lowest they've ever been. Don't know what it would be. Hmm. So that's kind of where this ends. We now have on the market brand new combustible low nicotine cigarettes, which confuses me just as much as it confuses you, or does it? Either way, I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm gonna stand by what I said earlier, and I legitimately think that lower nicotine cigarettes is just going to make people smoke more cigarettes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. That's what I got for today. And remember, no matter what any crooked politician tells you, yeah, keep on vaping. <laughs>